Hello everyone, in this uh, video I'll show you how to fill an array with only its unique values. So, as an example, in this column <coughs> we have numbers 1, 5, and 3, but 5 appears twice and 3 appears twice. And when I fill the array, I only want to put the unique values in, 1, 5, and 3. So I wrote a macro that has a shortcut key. When I press it, it'll show you what was added to the array the index of that element and then the final array <coughs> so one was added to the array five was added to the array and three was added to the array and the index of one is zero in the array the index of five is one and the index of three is two so and then it prints the final array it prints index zero index one and two and index two all in a row and that should be 1, 5, and 3. So that's 0 is 1, 1 is 5, and 2 is 3. So it all matches up. Just remember that uh, indexes have a base 0. So the first element you put in, which is 1, is going to have an index of 0. Once you When you print it, you do index 0. That's going to give you the value 1. Okay, so let's look how we do this. So I declared an array here, my array, an index, integer, that's going to be the index of the array. Size is the size of the array. Um, I don't actually think I knew, use that because I use something else, and I'll explain that. Uh, J and H are going to be active, J is the active cell dot row, H is the active cell dot column. And I did that because I could place my cursor anywhere, and I'll be able to run this macro. I don't need to declare columns or rows or anything. That's why I did that. So active cell dot row, active cell dot column. CK is going to be a check. It's going to be a Boolean statement, one or zero. I could put Boolean here. Um, if you're not familiar with Boolean, it just means one or zero. And usually it's used for true or false, where one is true and zero is false. Dim, dummy is integer. Um, I, I'll show you that later. Okay, so here we're in the code. The first thing I do is I resize the array to size 0. Uh, then after that, you make a while statement that says, I want to loop while this column isn't blank. So I'm going to go all the way down until it hits a blank. I'm going to select the cells, the cells here. And then I'm going to, what I'm going to do here, this for statement, is going to look and see if the value here in this cell is already in the array called my array. And how you do that is you loop through the array with this index for index equals zero equal to the size of the array. And remember I said the si I declared a variable for size, but instead of doing that, determining what the size is, I just put u bound my array. This will give me the size of the array. Okay, so what this for statement does again, it goes from index equals zero to the size of the array. It checks the, the current element in the array, my array index, that returns an element, which is currently zero. And it says if zero is equal to the, the value in this cell, if zero is equal to one, then mark it as a duplicate. Okay, and let me, uh, so it's not a duplicate, and it'll fall out of this for statement, and it'll go down here into this if statement, and if it's not a duplicate, so CK is zero, it's not a duplicate, then index equals index minus one, you do that because when you fall out of this for statement, index is one too many, so you have to put this in here, okay, so now you're, it's not a duplicate you want to add it to the array you want to add one so you resize the array here and then you input the value in the cell here in the array here okay um, let's see and also in the cell next to it I put added to the array here's where I do that and in the cell next to that I put the index of that element. Okay, so let's just look at uh, this statement here. 
But let's actually walk through it real quick. Uh, we'll walk through it until we get to five. And I'm just going to put a breakpoint here. So I'm going to click it once, click it twice. Oh, I actually have to get out of this because I have to select the right cell. Okay, I'm on the right cell. And now I'm going to put a breakpoint, and I'm going to run it. And you can see one was added to the array. Five was added to the array. Now let's step through it and see what happens when we're on the next five. So we're on the next five. Now it's going to loop through the array right now. And right here, you can see that because index one is equal to five, so the value in this in this cell is equal to a value already in the array. So it's a duplicate. So it says CK equals one. So now it's going to exit the four, and it's also going to bypass that. So it's not going to be added to the array. And now I'll do it again. So we'll go to three, and now what happens when we get to the next three? Three was added because it wasn't in the array, but now we're on the next three. And now it's looping through the array right now. And there it is. So it found it. The element 3 is already in the array. And so the value in the cell equals an element already in the array. That means it's a duplicate. So we want to not add it. And that's basically it. Um, now the last thing I did was print the array. I did this dummy U-Bond, by the way, just to show you the size of, of the array. But I don't think I have time to... To, to go over that it's not really important so here I printed the array and the important thing is that when you fall out of this for statement when you uh, sorry when you resize the array you resize it to one plus the size of the array and when you print it you don't want to print that extra element if I remove this negative one and I run this let me clear this and I run it can execute code. Take this off. Breakpoint. You can see when I took that off, that negative one, the subtraction, I have an extra element here. Let me explain that again. Is That's because I want to print it for index zero to the size of the array. But the size is one bigger than what I want because... When I redim it up here, I redim it plus one. So the last time you redimension something, you have a size that is one too big. So here, you got to subtract it. And then just here, I loop through the array for index zero to the size minus one, and I print it the value. Okay, so let's run this again with uh, the clear, with uh that negative one, and you'll see again, one, five, and three. One, five, and three because I added this negative one. If I didn't, it would have been one too big, and it would have printed a zero. And that's interesting because it shows you that a blank, if you have an, uh, an array and an element is not assigned anything, it's going to show up as zero. So this was a pretty uh, interesting video. Um, definitely useful if you're dealing with arrays so um, if you have any questions just uh, let me know and uh, hope you enjoyed thanks